Okay, to set up your Apple certificates, you need a couple of things. First of all, you need to have a Mac computer or have access to a Mac computer. Next, you need to have an Apple developers account. And lastly, you need to store the information that you put under app info in your app. So for this example, it's com.app.sappable that we will be using to set up certificates for. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is open up Keychain Access on your Mac. Now, if you can't find Keychain Access, the easiest way is to open up the Finder and then just search for Keychain Access and you will see it appear. The next thing you need to do is to request a certificate authority. So to do this is very easy. With Keychain Access open, if you just click on Keychain Access on the top left, go to Certificate Assistance, then request a certificate from a certificate authority and click. Then you simply need to enter in your email address that's associated with your developer's account. Then click on Save to Disk and then continue. And you'll see here that the name will appear. So just save it to a location on your computer where you can find it easily. Maybe create a new folder to keep your certificate signing request in and then just click on Save. So that is the first step done. The next step is to log in to your Apple Developers Center and then click on Manage your Certificates, App IDs, Devices and Provisioning Profiles. Now you'll notice four options here, Certificates, Identifiers, Devices and Provisioning Profiles. One to make notice of is Devices. This will ensure that you can test your app on your Apple device such as your iPhone or your iPad. In order to do that, you need to get a specific UDID which is associated with your mobile phone. Now that might seem a little bit technical for you but it's incredibly easy to do. I've included a link to our training to it on the bottom of this page. It will show you how to get your UDID and put it in. For this video, we're gonna be focusing on getting your certificates to generate your iOS app. So if we just click on certificates, first thing that we need to do is to create a development certificate. So if you click on development and then click on the little plus tab here, then click on iOS app development. And we'll just click on continue. And now it's going to ask you for your CSR file. That is what we just created in the previous step. So just click and continue. And then you just choose your file from the location. And then click on generate. So we now have our development certificate. Be sure to download it and save it to the specified folder on your computer where you know where it is. Next, you need to add in your app ID. To get that, we just need to skip across. In this instance, it's com.app.sappable. And you just need to click on the little plus symbol. So we just repeat. You go to your manage apps. Click on edit. Click on app info take the app ID that you've stored here, enter in the name of your app, call this Sappable, and then you, if you scroll down, app ID suffix, then explicit app ID, and you just paste it in, scroll down to the bottom, and be sure to enable push notifications as well, because this will be one less step that you require when you need to set up your push notification certificates for your app, which are different again. Just select it wherever you intend to use push notifications immediately or not, and click on continue. So that will be your ID added. You just need to scroll to the bottom and click submit. 
and you're now ready to go to the next step on creating your provisioning profiles. Next, we need to create a provisioning profile. So if you scroll down to the bottom, you'll see provisioning profiles, click on all, then click on the plus sign, and then click on iOS development. Now you will notice there are two options here, iOS development and distribution. The iOS development one is for when you want to generate your app and test it on your device. When you're happy with it, you then need to go back and create a distribution certificate. This will be what you needed for the final build for when you decide that you want to submit your app to the Apple App Store. But for the first step, you always want to test it on your device first. So select iOS development, click on continue, and select the app ID that you have added in to the system in the previous step. As you can see here, com.app.sabable. Then I will click on continue. Then you select your iOS development certificate that you just created, click and continue. And then these are the devices which you have added to your developer account. This is what I was mentioning earlier, where these will be the devices that are authorized to test the app that you have built. So you can just select whichever ones you want. And then you just need to name your profile. and then click on generate. And then again, just download this file to the relevant location on your computer. Final step is to create your P12 certificate. So you just need to visit the location on your computer where you downloaded your iOS development.sir file. That was one of the first steps we done in the video. The first certificate that we generated inside the Apple Developer Center. And then just double click it now when you double click it, if you open up your keychain access again, you will see that it appears here. It'll be iPhone develop. And depending on if you have this larger or smaller, it may be cut off. So if you just right click on it and then click on export iPhone developer. And then select where you want to save it. And then you can just name it. I like to do this just for my reference. Sappable P12. And then click on save. It is then going to ask you for your password. Now, make sure you store this password as you will need to include it when you generate your app via Zappable. So if you enter in your password, I'll just do a simple one and click OK. And then that will be your P12 generated. Some of you may appear on a screen like this next when you click OK. Some of you won't. This is just purely because I have my Mac computer password protected. So I just enter in my password and click on Allow. And now my P12 certificate is generated. So the final step will be going back to Zappable and then view Apple certificates. You may have, if this is your, your first app that you're building, it'll likely be a red box here that will ask you to upload your Apple certificate. And then just find the app that you're using and click on edit. Then you have two options. First of all, you will see your Apple P12 password that is the password you have just entered in for your app. We done literally 20 seconds ago. The next option is debug and release. So you would select debug mode as this is a development certificate. Whenever you decide that you want to submit your app to the iOS stores, you need to go back to your Apple developer account and create a release certificate production certificate so if you just choose the p12 file here p12 and click on open and then for the store provisioning profile just be your 
provision profile it will end in dot mobile provision and then click on open and then simply click on update and what will happen is our system will check your certificates it'll make sure everything is okay and then your app will be approved for generation when you install the app on your phone and you're happy with how it appears and you're happy with how it functions if you just go back to your ios developer center you can go down to provision and profiles click on all click the plus tab again and then select distribution and select app store click and continue and it's the same steps again that you saw previously when you download that distribution certificate just go back to zappable choose your new mobile provision certificate that you just downloaded and then select release and when you do that your app will now be ready to submit to the iTunes store. So I know these steps on first watch may seem slightly complicated, but it's not. If you watch this video and follow the instructions below, you will be able to generate your certificates in no time. The first app may seem the most difficult when generating these certificates because it's the first time you've done it. But after a couple of times, you'll be able to generate these certificates in less than a minute because you won't need to generate your CSR or certificate signing request certificate again because you already have it. So it makes the process very streamlined and easy to do. If you follow this video exactly, but you still run into a little issue, feel free to submit a support ticket and we will be happy to assist and identify the problem or mistake that you have made. And finally, please click on the link that will show you how to get your UD ID for your iPhone or your iPad. Because without that ID, you won't be able to install your app on your device.